this with three quarter cups warm water. That means when I put my finger in it, it feels pretty warm, but it's not hot. My finger is not going, I I Add one and a half teaspoons sugar because it has the same effect on yeast as it does on human children. <laughs> Teaspoon and a half of active dry or instant yeast. If it's active, give it five minutes to wake up. Splish, splash, they were taking a bath. In a separate bowl, we start with two and a half cups of flour. Add one and a quarter teaspoon salt. Salt and yeast don't like each other at this stage, so we let them have a little separate joyful moment. Introverts will understand. Crack in an egg, and then I melted two tablespoons of butter. To make sure it doesn't cook the egg accidentally, I'm it's kind of half melted and I'm just gonna dump it straight in. Get smooshed into the dough just fine. We can check in on our yeast. We see delightful foam, huzzah! But also if I give it a sniff, it smells like a dive bar. So that means the yeast is alive and kicking and we're just gonna dump it in. Give this 20 big stirs. Looks like a shaggy dough. You are doing fabulous. Trick for ooh, newbies. Cover this and let it sit for 10 minutes. What we're letting the flour do is soak up the water and it will be easier to knead. It kind of still looks like caca, but it's fine. Clean surface. You can definitely put a pinch of kitchen lube, AKA flour down, but it's not necessary because this dough has butter in it. The dough and any bits and bobs you can. Don't worry, I'm not gonna grade you on how clean your bowl is. And now kneading is very easy. We're gonna stick out our palms, put it down in the dough, lean forward, don't worry, it might stick to you. It might do all kinds of funny sounds. You're just gonna run with it. We're gonna trust the process. Hands are here, take the top, fold it over. Do that 20 times. You might be like, it went through a metamorphosis. First it was kind of dry, then it was kind of like there were hard parts. Now it's so sticky, it's kind of sticking everywhere. Everything's okay, you're doing great. If you want, you can give it a sprinkle. That's more for our mental health. If it's doing that, don't worry. Just scoop it in the best you can and go over it with your knead. If it does that, don't worry. Trust the process, keep kneading. This is roughly 50 total kneads. You can see it's kind of sticky. This is at 100 kneads. It's not gripping as much as it used to. If it really gets to you, totally add some flour. We're at 150 after 200 kneads. She's feeling super soft and stretchy. I'm gonna give it one more pinch and another 50. For me, this is perfect. She's not sticking to my hand anymore. She's rolling off of the surface. If you're not quite there yet, hit it with another sprinkle of flour and give it another 20 kneads and you're good to go. Supple, delish, we love her already. New bowl with some spritz. I'm gonna put her in here, cover, let sit for an hour. 